Good morning. Uh, my name is Dr. Scott Hamilton. I'm your facilitator for Human Growth and Development for the second spring term of 2023. I would like to welcome you not only to the class, but to the course outline. <clears throat> You'll find that outline listed at the top of the page on the home page, just underneath this video. I want to direct your attention to two or three items that are extremely important for this class. Initially, just going down to page two of that outline, I have opened all of the course materials for the entirety of the eight weeks. All of them are currently available for you. Please make a very special note. We are not doing all of the chapters in this particular textbook. We'll be doing chapters two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We'll also be doing chapters 11 and 12, 13, 15, 18, and 19, if I see all of those correctly. Just double check and make sure that you're not doing something extra that you don't need to do. We're only doing 14 chapters. They make life a little bit easier for this term. All materials that are due each week are due on Saturday, no later than 11.59 p.m. Please make a special note. Barring some major life catastrophe, the death of a loved one, your own hospitalization, for example, something serious with your children, if you happen to have them, I don't do late work. Get your work done as quickly as possible, which is one of the reasons the course materials are available to you for the entirety. Take care of them as soon as possible. You'll find life to be a whole lot easier after the fact. If you haven't had a class with me before, please make a note. When you are responding to discussion posts, those discussion posts will need to be at least six full sentences long. I do count punctuation, meaning that if I don't see periods at the end of the sentence, those sentences typically don't run together or count the same as one. Specifically, be sure you have six full sentences. Response posts need to be at least four full sentences the sentences that start with, thanks for your post, good job, I appreciate what you're sharing, typically do not count toward your sentence total. You'll notice that as I grade through those discussions and response posts accordingly. Each discussion post is worth 10 points. A response post is worth 5 points. You are looking to gain 15 points for each discussion slash response post for each chapter. There will be a 15-point quiz for each chapter. All of those materials each week are due by Saturday at 11.59. We have five tests across these eight weeks. They're worth 100 points apiece, meaning there should be 50 questions worth two points apiece. You'll have enough time. In other words, I'll allot you the time that you would receive in the classroom, plus a few minutes, if you were taking the test or the quiz live. In other words, you'll have about an hour and a half to get through all of those test questions. Please don't think me foolish. I would expect that you're going to use your course materials, especially your textbook, to look up answers for those tests. Please feel free to do so. That's what that textbook is for. The questions come directly from the textbook, but please make a note. Those test questions also come from Pearson's Test Bank. It is possible that you will find a test question that is not answered correctly. If by chance you have a dispute with one of the test question answers, just send me a nice gentle email and I'll make an inquiry about that and double check those particular concerns and make adjustments if they're necessary. No worries there. No harm, no foul. You'll have a PowerPoint project, pardon me, that is worth an accumulated total of 80 points. You'll find that information in the PowerPoint link at the bottom of the home page. You'll also find at the home page, the bottom of the home page, an example post to give you an idea of what kind of discussion answers I'm looking for. And it just dawns on me as I glance at the course outline that there's a couple of blips that I need to correct, so I will upload an appropriate course outline today so that the one you see will also read amended or an addendum, one or the other, that will remind you that that is the appropriate course outline. For example, 
the grade calculation refers to four tests worth 500 points or five tests worth 100 points. I'll make sure those things are added and scored appropriately. There should be five quizzes, five tests, basically, if I remember correctly. I'll double check and make sure all of those things are correct and appropriate so that there is not a concern about which is due or what is due when. I'll also include all of the tests in its separate link at the bottom of the home page just so that you have them not only in the modules when they're due each week but also as a separate folder or a separate link at the bottom of the page. And again at the bottom of page three of the course outline you'll see information related to those discussion posts six full sentences long response posts being four full sentences long what counts what doesn't count Please note, you'll need to post your own response or your own discussion post before you'll have access or be able to see other students' posts. And again, those response posts are a response to some other student's discussion post. There's probably, as I'm looking, another uh, blip on page four of the course outline. Again, I'll fix that here in just a few minutes and post a new one appropriately. Please note, I'll be corresponding with you through the Vernon College email system. So I'll use your Vernon College email. Now, where you forward that email, I'm not concerned about that at all. Just know that I'll use your Vernon College email to communicate with you. Note my phone number at the top of the first page of the course outline. It's 940-247-0595. If you need something related to the class quickly, your best option is probably to text. I'll respond to text a little bit more quickly than I would to an email because I have the phone readily available all the time and I don't always have my Vernon College email pulled up. Just note that you can text. I do answer the phone when people call and or text. If I happen to miss your call, please leave your voicemail, leave a name and a number why you're calling and I will get back with you as soon as possible. I am a clinician. I do see clients on a relatively consistent basis, so if I happen not to answer your call, I'm not ignoring you. I just may be with somebody at that moment. I will get back with you quickly, as quickly as possible. If there are concerns about the library access, please consult the library page that is available through the home page of the Vernon College website. If there's a concern about getting access to certain uh, research articles and things of that nature. The library will be your best option for assistance in that regard. They can help you gain access to all of the Vernon College electronic database resources that are available for you. The databases are extensive and you'll need access to those databases to complete your PowerPoint project. While I'm here, I'll go ahead and give you a quick synopsis of the PowerPoint library project just so that you have an idea for it. It is a project that is comprised of at least 12, count them, 12 PowerPoint slides. The first slide will be your title page. The last slide will be your reference page, which means basically you're going to have 10 slides that are, in essence, the outline for a very small paper you would produce. I've included an example PowerPoint project for you inside the link for the PowerPoint project. Follow that example. It's perfect. Everything you require is there. If there are other concerns about that, especially related to the accumulation of the appropriate resources, I again refer you to the Vernon College Library links and phone numbers to make sure that you have the correct information and access to the articles you're going to need for that project. Initially, I think that's all I can help you with as we start, as we move through the term. If something comes up I need to address specifically, at least related to a, a video or whatever, I'll post a new video out for you. Um, well, again, while I'm thinking about it, there are videos available for each chapter in each module. Those videos are there for you to look at if you want. They are not required. There is no grade for looking at them. They're simply available if you would like to use them. They will correspond to the appropriate chapter material as you move through those chapters. And as I'm pondering and glancing across this document I'm looking at on the other side of my screen, nothing else of significance comes to mind. 
except for the fact that I apologize if I seem hurried. I'm trying to redo a video so that the appropriate one is out and you're not having any sort of blips or concerns with the video I originally posted. But lastly, please make a very special note about the Vernon College Academic Honesty Policy. I don't do plagiarism at all. That will cost you not only a letter grade, but most likely your attendance in class. Do your work. Do it quickly. All of the information required to do that work effectively is contained here inside the course. Again, if you have a question, don't hesitate to let me know. My number is 940-247-0595. If you have a concern, give me a holler. I look forward to working with you this term.